Supplies Risk Reduction Plan. For more information or to schedule an appointment, please call 718-862-8840. Welcome to Animated Life with the Made in New York Animation Project. In this series, we spotlight short films created by young people from the Bronx who have come together to share their experiences and creativity with the world through storytelling and animation. Stay tuned at the end of the episode for more about TAP and how to get involved. Animated Life with TAP is rated PG. The stories you are about to see are made by real people inspired by real life experiences. We would like to acknowledge that violence is sometimes a part of people's lived experiences. Some of the animations featured may explore complex topics and themes. Without further ado, let's get into today's show. Hello again to old friends and welcome to new ones wherever you may be. My name is Britton and I am a friend of the Animation Project, also known as TAF. As always, I am thrilled to be here with you today to experience more of the awesome animations from TAF Youth Creatives from the Bronx. Shall we begin with our opening ritual so that we can activate our imaginations and be present and grounded for our time together? Okay, this week, I invite you to imagine you have a stone or rock in your hand, but this is not just any stone. It's a stone that represents aspects of who you are. I want you to really see and feel this stone. What does it look like? How does it feel in your hand? Is it smooth, rough, or a mixture of both or something else? What color or mixture of colors is your stone? Is it solid, see-through, big, small? What does your stone have in common with you? You know, stones, just like people, experience many seasons and their textures tell stories and hold histories. My stone is a mixture of red and yellow and brown, which represents joy, playfulness, love and groundedness. It also has rough edges and some smooth corners because I am full of contradictions. And there are cracks and divots in my stone, which represent life losses and challenges. And yet this stone is strong and unique, just as I am. What about your stone? What does it say about you? You know, the cool thing is we all get to hold on to our stones. They can travel with us. And when we need reminders of who we are, our inner strengths, we can hold on to our stone. So put yours somewhere safe as we get started. Today's episode will carry us through themes across rhythms of life, love, loss, grief, renewal, and hope. The animations are reminders of complicated complexities of living that are both bitter and sweet. These are important and necessary themes to explore. And as always, I am grateful that we get to spend time thinking through such meaningful issues and experiences together. So let's get started with our first animation. Our first animation, A Magical Winter Wonderland, was made by TAP Youth Creatives from South Bronx Neon in 2020. We'll watch and then meet back together on the other side. Well, hello there. Oh, oh my god. I can't believe you're alive. H 
how are you talking? How are you moving? Hey, it's nothing personal. I'm not some type of snow monster. Huh? How's that possible? Do you have a name? Mm, honestly, I don't think I do. You gave me life. Why don't you give me a name too? Well, you're a snowman and you're white and fluffy, so how about Snowflake? Snowflake? Sounds nice. What's your name? Jerome Ramos. Oh wait, Ramos? Why do I feel like I have a connection with that last name? I'm probably just overthinking it. Never mind. You look stressed. It's a long story. Honestly, you wouldn't want to hear it. Well, I asked, so spill the beans. I would like to know. Basically, I built you both as a tribute to my mom and because I love making snowmen with my mom. You're that, Ramos. No wonder I felt a connection. Your mom built me first before you were born. My mother built you? How? I made you today. Well, I knew her. She was the one who built me. We played together. Trust me. So, what do you say, pal? Okay, but if you mess this up... Trust me, I won't mess this up. I'll give you the best I can. Well, until I die in the spring. Wow. Is that how you come to life? Yeah, nothing special. I'm not Olaf. So, what do you want to do now? Well, let's go sledding. Sledding? Yes, sledding. Haven't you gone sledding when you were a kid? Yes, but I'm too old for that now. No one's ever too old for anything. His name is Sparkles. Hi. Hey, Snowflake. He looks cuter than you. <laughs> Come on, man. That's offensive. You don't do that. I haven't had this much fun in a while. Me neither. For the past five years, I've struggled with having fun. Why is that? Well, my mom. Well, when I was with your mom, even though she was a kid... She was something special. She built me, and I felt the love she had for you. I know she would have wanted me to meet you. I, I, I just didn't want her to go. She'll always love you. She's in a better place. If she could see you now, she would be proud. See you later, pal. This powerful animation gives us so many important reminders. It is so hard and painful to lose people we love, and it is natural to feel sad. As people, we need time to grieve the losses of those we hold dear, and there is no specific timeline for how much time we may need to grieve. 
It is so important to talk about our sadness and how we miss the ones we have lost. Thankfully, in this magical winter wonderland, Jerome had Snowflake the snowman to talk to about how he was feeling after his mom died. We all need time to heal when we hurt emotionally, just like we do when we hurt physically. So who do you turn to when you feel sad and need someone to talk to? As the creators of this animation so wisely remind us, people may be gone, but never forgotten. My wish for us all is that we have someone that we can trust and talk to when we are grieving a loss, just as Jerome had Snowflake. Our second animation titled Everything Food Raining from the Sky was created by Tap Youth Creatives from Mott Haven High School in 2019. See you on the other side. Hi, this is Chauncey with the 5 o'clock news, and we've got some wild reports of, oh my God, we're actually seeing pieces of food falling from the sky. This is unbelievable, folks. I'm on the ground level with some eyewitnesses. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, can I talk to you for a second? Yes, yes. What have you noticed? I was just watching my show every day, you know, and I just see a piece of cheese falling from the sky. I thought it was just somebody throwing stuff from the window, and then it was just like this big, like, it's big. A piece of cheese. Yes. Oh, my God. Then I seen some macaroni. I was like, oh, big mac and cheese. <laughs> wow. Lots of excitement over here. Thank you so much, ma'am. Excuse me, miss. Miss, could I speak to you for a second? What have you noticed? Food falling from the sky. Food falling from the sky. Is this a normal sight for you? No. So how did you feel when you saw the food falling from the sky? I was... And shock. Shock. Shock seems to be a common feeling over here. Thank you so much, ma'am. Excuse me, excuse me, miss. Can I talk to you? What have you noticed? Broccoli. I noticed broccoli. Broccoli. Broccoli falling from the sky. I like broccoli. Uh, are you happy? Are you keeping the broccoli for yourself? Are you giving it to others? I've noticed some people giving the food away to homeless. Yeah. I'm giving it away to the homeless people because they don't eat. Wow, that's an incredible, incredible effort. Yeah, thank you so much, miss. Sir, sir, can I speak to you? Excuse me, what have you noticed? Uh, yes, yes, I've noticed uh, large shrimp and crab. Shrimp and crab? Yes, indeed, it was most delightful with butter. Garlic butter. G garlic butter. Did did you bring the garlic butter all, out? Yourself? All of the garlic butter was oh, collected by oh. by me and my colleagues from the Fish and Shrimp College. Of Fish and Shrimp College. Wow. Yes, it was most delicious around my my lunch time. It was. It was indeed a delicious meal. Wow. So I I hear it was delicious. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, sir, can I speak to you for a moment? What have you noticed? Who's falling from the sky? What food have you seen falling from the sky? Everything. 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 Oh my god, there's a random piece of corn about to hit this gentleman. Sir, I just saved your life. Are you okay? Do I know you? All right, this is Chauncey with the 5 o'clock news. You heard it here first. Signing off. Thanks, folks.
that was quite a lot of food raining from the sky. Can you imagine a world where everyone had enough and where those who had an overflow shared it with those in need? You know, in this animation, citizens did not know how or why food was raining from the sky. People were stunned, shocked, and in awe by what they were seeing. And they were grabbing what they could and enjoying some of their favorite foods even. I was most inspired by those who were sharing their finds with those who were unhoused. What stood out in this animation to you? For our next animation, we'll watch Life After Death, an animation created by TAP Youth Creatives from the John V. Lindsay Wildcat Academy in 2019. You know the routine. I'll meet you on the other side. Now that I've levitated into my demise, I open my eyes and burst out into a new time. Just keep pushing. You're doing great. Keep going. Keep going. You'll be fine. Just breathe. Breathe. I think I see something. Hold on. Is that what I see? Oh my god. This short animation carried a big and powerful message. In life, whenever death is present, so too is new life. It can sometimes be hard to remember this, especially when we are grieving a loss. The wise creators of this animation said, for every person that dies, there's always something new that's born. That reminder gives me comfort. How does that message make you feel? Next, we will watch The End and the Beginning, a creation from TAP Youth Creatives at the John V. Lindsay Wildcat Academy in 2019. Mother Nature's house. Mother Earth will help us understand what's going on. We know you have the answer to our problems. There's nothing you can do. Everything will fall into place when it's time. You humans have destroyed me. The Amazon rainforest. What are we gonna do now? Whoa! Into the future. What happened? Everything is destroyed! How could this happen? This is crazy. What are we gonna do now? After a long time, they fell in love, and before they knew it, they got together and had many babies to repopulate the earth. This animation is a strong reminder of how important it is to take care of the earth and the potential that exists for us to destroy this planet that is our home. 
Can you imagine being one of only two people on the planet because of human destruction to the planet? The two characters in this animation ended up falling in love and repopulating the earth. So in the end, there was a new beginning. But it is important for us to take heed to the wise words of the animation's creators. They said, take care of earth or it will destroy us the way we destroyed it. What are some of the ways that we can take care of the earth? I'm gonna commit to always carrying reusable bags and reusable water bottles to reduce plastic waste. What commitments will you make towards caring for our We have arrived at our final animation for today, Dream Wedding, which was created by Tap Youth Creatives from the John B. Lindsay Wildcat Academy in 2019. Catch up. In a planet not so long ago, there lived a peaceful, equal free town. In this town, things were very odd. Things were floating. What? <gasps> How? I mean, this was due to the lack of gravity. The year was 3028. In fact, this was a very special day. On Earth, it may have been odd for two different species of the same gender to be married. But on this planet, equality ruled. Yeah, that's amazing. These two species were mixtures of animals unique to the planet. One a mixture of a pig and frog called a prog, and the other a mixture of a donkey and unicorn called a unidonk. The prog was the mayor of the town and a serious woman. The unidonk was the opposite of the prog, a funny creature. <laughs> Together, these two different species who shared the same gender appeared very different, so different from one another, that no one would suspect that today was, in fact, their wedding day. Oh, I love weddings. We are gathered here today to celebrate Mayor Prog and Unidonk's holy matrimony. I object. I don't think that's appropriate. It's supposed to be Adam and Eve, not Eve and Eve. Oh no! Everyone should be able to love who they want to love. You're not going to love me either way for who I am. I'll need your approval. You know my parents. Bobby, alien, you're either staying to support us or you can leave because either way, we are getting married. Reverend Roberts, please continue. What a great animation to end on. On this planet, in the year 3028, equality ruled over all. How did it make you feel to witness a land where all could marry whomever they loved? And what did you think when Bobby Alien objected to the marriage between the Prague and the Unidonk during their wedding? What would you have said to Bobby Alien had you been at the wedding? I was so inspired by how the prog and the unidonk advocated for themselves and said regardless of what anyone else thought or felt, they were getting married. What did you think or feel about that moment? Does equality rule over all on our planet today? Are people able to freely express themselves, freely love, partner, and or marry whomever it is that they love across the gender span? What might the world be like if that was the way things were. That is certainly the kind of world I 
another incredible episode. The themes remind us of the highs and lows, of the ebbs and flows of life. It makes me think of our stones because stones experience the range of seasons, just as we do. As people, we will experience joys and pains, triumphs and challenges, and everything in between and beyond. May we all be reminded of our beautifully unique qualities that will see us through it all. So what are you carrying with you from today's episode? I am taking several reminders, including when we lose someone we love, it is normal to feel sad. And someone that we can talk to can be a wonderful gift to have. A world where we all have enough and where we share with those in need, where we look out for each other would be the best kind of world indeed. All good things they say must at some point come to end, but let us be sure to remember that something new will also begin. So while we're here on this earth, let's treat her with deep respect. If we destroy this world we live in, that's something we'll surely regret. May we commit to equality for everyone and remember everyone deserves love and respect. May we celebrate ourselves and each other for that's the best kind of world we could. Well, friends, it is time for our closing ritual. So I invite you to think of something that you appreciated from the animations we watched. It might be something that you connected with that made you think and or left you with an important message. Once you have that something in mind, imagine it, see it, believe it is right there waiting for you to take it, reach out, hold on to it, and place it where you need it. We all get to put what we are taking where it will travel with us most meaningfully. It is always a joy to spend this time with you. I hope you found our time together as meaningful as I did. And as always, we hope to see you during the next episode. Until then, wishing you very, very well. Thanks again for joining us for Animated Life with TAP. Please stay connected by visiting our website, www.theanimationproject.org, and following our social media accounts. Until next time, Bronx viewers, stay animated.